budget keto clearance moms week nine weigh in so as you can kind of hear in my voice I've had the grud all week and I for those of y'all do not know I work in a hospital and so <clears throat> I'm around sick people all the time and I'm like why am I sick in April it's April it's not November, December, January. It's April. Like, so my kids came home sick last week and had the sniffles, and I didn't think anything about it. And, of course, mom, they have to love on mom, so mom gets it too. So, even though I sound bad today and I'm still not looking better in my color, I am feeling much better than I have all week. If you're new around here, I do not typically sound like this. Um, but this is my channel. I do weight loss um, video weigh-in videos every Wednesday. Um, and I do Dollar Tree hauls and just about anything else fun and budget related that I can think of. Um, so if y'all would, just hit the subscribe button down below and join me on my journey. Um... My main focus right now is my weight loss journey. Um, for those of you that do not know, I started my weight loss journey at 228 pounds, and this is week 9 of keto. Um, so, week 9 weigh-in will happen today. Um, ugh, sorry. I'm telling y'all. You know, when you're sick, you have, like, brain fog. And I know that they say keto has, like, this mental clarity thing. Well, when you're sick, there is not enough keto in the world to make this mentally clear. So, um, anyways, week nine. So, the week went pretty well, except for, like I said, I was sick. And you know, when you're sick, you want to eat sick food. I don't know what sick food was for you growing up, but for me, it was chicken noodle soup with saltine crackers. We live in the South, people. Um, Sprite, not Sprite Zero, like full-fledged sugar-added Sprite. Um, full-fledged Powerade, nothing else. Mashed potatoes. Mm. And bananas, I think, was something my mom would give me. So, I'm sorry if that triggered anybody, but that was literally all I could think about all week. All I wanted was my typical comfort foods. But, the only thing that got me through is just thinking, why am I on this journey? Um, Goody Beats was talking about it on his channel. You need to find out your why. You know, are you doing a weight loss journey because everybody else is doing it? Are you doing keto because everybody else is doing it? You know, you have to find out your reason why. And for me, my reason why is I went to the doctor and um, got on the scale at 228 pounds. And then I, he had put me in the morbidly obese wellness registry. And I think I just about died. Like, I always knew that I was fluffy. That's what I call myself. Fluffy. But morbidly obese registry by my height and weight was insane. It was, <clears throat> you know... I just couldn't even believe that. I could not believe, you know, that that's what he thought of me. And that's where I was with my BMI and my height. So, at that point in time, I decided the first thing I was going to do is start exercising more. So, I got a gym membership to Planet Fitness on January 1st of this year. Like, probably half the other people in this world... The difference is, 
is that today is May 1st and I still go. I used to love the gym. I don't know if anybody loves the gym, but I like going now. I feel better when I go and get on the elliptical and run out some energy and go lift some weights, I feel better. I think the worst part of my week this week of being sick was the fact that I've been to the gym once in the last seven days. I just, I haven't felt like it. So that was the hardest part. But my why is the fact that I am approaching the age of 40. 40? Ugh. I don't even want to talk about it. And I am in the morbidly obese category. And I don't want to be that way. I want to be able to go hiking with my kids. My son, my 13-year-old, he'll be 13 this month. Oh, my God. I have a 13-year-old. Um, he's in Boy Scouts and we had to fill out these health waivers and it had a chart at the bottom of the health waiver that said if you were this height and this weight, you could not go hiking on a high adventure trip. And do you want to know that me and my husband are at that exact weight and that exact height? where they could technically say we couldn't go. And I know for some of y'all, y'all are like, oh my God, that's stupid. It's not stupid. I want to go hiking with my 13-year-old. I want to be able to go to summer camp and go hiking and not have some little stupid waiver form say I can't do it. Um... I, I want to be able to go to Six Flags and get on a roller coaster and fit in the seat and not feel like, you know, is, this, is the seatbelt going to fasten? I'm to the point where the seatbelt almost doesn't fasten. So that was my why. That was my why moment. I want to enjoy stuff with my kids. I do not want to sit around and watch TV and do nothing. I want to live. And so it is time for me to live for me and for my children. So, week nine, you know, Goody Beats was talking about it. Talked about your why. You need to know your why. And you need to remember your why. And when the scale stalls and your weight loss stalls and you're just feeling hopeless you need to remember your why and this was very important for me this week okay that's enough rambling let's get to the weigh-in